what's good viewer this is spanky and thank you for tuning into my channel and my video of the pokemon select charizard or as the or as the french call him dracufui come on what come on french you just france you gotta do better you gotta do better and these are the other series one which I don't know what these series mean because I have these this figure or I have another figure and it says that Rayquaza is in series two and then I've opened up some series five recently and it says Charizard's in series five. So they maybe they're just re-releasing them. I don't know. But I I love these Pokemon Select figures. So let's open this thing up. I can't wait. Alright, Charizard has been released from his plastic prison. And for twenty dollars, he is looking absolutely stunning. I love it. I love these Pokemon Select figures. I've actually went and hunted my uh, SH Figure Arts Bandai Charizard. And I'm going to do a little comparison there at the end. So please stay tuned for that. But let's start with the articulation. Start from the toes. Let me get that like that. There we go. That's pretty good. And then you got my wife singing in the background. Beautiful, beautiful wife. Beautiful voice. There's the knee articulation. And here's the hip. Doesn't really go out much. But he does go back and forth quite a bit. Don't know if you need much more than that. Obviously, no articulation there in the abs. Here are the shoulders. These are nice. You can hear that snapping. That's actually just it snapping into place, not it breaking. And it's very stiff, which is very good. This, I'll, I'll address that in a second. A little swivel here. And this, and this is a little bit of a janky elbow, uh, elbow joint here. Hmm. I mean, very good articulation, but it does kind of look a little, a little funky. A little bit, but it's not bad. Hmm. Anyways, a little swivel here as well, but good articulation just looks a little, a little janky. I think his arms are a bit too long. Hmm, I don't know. Do y'all think his arms are too long, or is that just me? Yeah, they look a little too long. Anyways, neck articulation, great articulation there. Swivel, swivel, articulation there. And I'm honestly noticing that this orange is two-toned so this orange is different from this a little bit there too definitely a little bit of orange different orange hmm hmm not cool i don't like that man I mean, for 20 bucks it's not bad but this right here it's very noticeable for me i'm not sure oh, yeah the camera is definitely picking that up there's no way it's not hmm. i'm trying to open up his mouth but it won't open so he does have Rah, come on. Yeah, mouth articulation. And then we got the wing articulation. Very, very stiff. And then we'll go to the tail. Very good, stiff tail articulation. And then we got the, you know, the flame here on the tail. Cool, cool. Comes with no accessories, but it does come with a pretty awesome stand with the ratchet joints that I love. Listen to this. Sounds really good. They do come apart like that pretty easily, but as far as going back and forth, get them holding, you can probably put him in a flying pose. So very, very good stand. I'm gonna wiggle it. He's not falling hardly at all. If you wiggle it left and right, um, as I noticed with the Greninja, I mean, it's gonna fall because it's just so heavy. It'll eventually, you know, part ways here at the base, you know, that way right here like that way because that's where it's weakest but up and down or forward and backwards it's very stiff and I finally got it too but unless there's an earthquake it's definitely not shaking that much but if you're going to put this on your shelf or your detolf it's going to stand very well you're going to go, yeah, you're gonna get to do some great cool dynamic posing and I got it kind of weird right now but let's actually compare it to the SH Figure Arts Bandai figure so here are these two bad boys sitting next to each other. This is the SH Figure Arts Charizard, which came out years ago. And this is, of course, the Pokemon Select. I don't remember this being so small. Or just, it just feels small compared to this one. So this one, this came out, I believe it was about around $120. And it's a great figure. It does have some, you know, joint problems. We're here at the tail and stuff. But I'm not here to review this figure. It's, it's obviously beautiful. But nowadays, you're gonna probably pay, well, at the box, probably 500 bucks, I would assume. Don't quote me, but I would assume you're gonna pay quite the pretty penny to grab this nowadays. So this $20 figure is a great alternative to this one. 
I don't think that there is any official scaling between the two. Uh, let's look at the height <clears throat> of this select figure. So, so far, all these select figures have been averaging just over six inches tall. So Charizard is gonna be the exception at about five and a half. And this one, sorry right in the camera, is just under five inches. So, as far as scale goes, I don't think that these have an official scale. Um, I'm not trying to scale it compared to this. I just kind of wanted to show what your difference in value of dollar is. I think that if you went out and got this for 20 bucks, I think you're getting a good deal. Obviously, I, I love this, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. But for $20 compared to this for 500, I don't. You're you're not losing out at much. This is. A very pretty figure don't get me wrong so let's just get out of the picture because it's not a review for that it's just a review for this so for 20 bucks amazing figure I love it I mean I'm, I'm finding as I go along with these Pokemon selects that there are some things I don't like about a few of them and there's some that are just 100% amazing and there's some that are really bad like the Rayquaza that was that was awful then there's some so-so like the Greninja and this, I'm going to put this in the so-so category as well. Just for kind of, it's just it's the joint, it's the janky joints here at the elbow. They just look weird. I don't know. I don't know. I'm being super picky. And this, this is a big thing for me. The discoloration here. I don't, I don't that's, that looks so weird. I don't like that at all. But for 20 bucks, it's not bad. So anyways, <clears throat> before I go on a huge long rant about how much I don't like it, 20 bucks. Great value. Go to Target. I think they're re-releasing these. At least I've seen images it for Series 5. So there may be a good chance you go to Target and you'll still find this awesome Charizard for 20 bucks. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my other Pokemon Select figures. Be safe. Peace.